three early warning weather. All right, the storm system that will impact us here in southern New England later this week, specifically Thursday night and Friday, is going to make big headlines as it works across the country, uh, bringing blizzard conditions to the upper Midwest. But as this storm system takes a track to our west, we're going to see milder weather. It's uh, called an inside runner as that area of low pressure passes off to our northwest. Ideally, we would need to have high pressure anchor toward north locking in colder. That's not going to be the case uh, as a southerly flow develops as Thursday night progresses into Friday morning. That's going to pump really mild air into the state. In fact, by Friday, temperatures likely peak, at least as we see it now, between 55 and 60 degrees. Those winds out of the south could gust well over 50 miles an hour. Uh, and look at the rain by the uh, typical Friday morning commute time. I know Friday, a lot of folks will be hitting the roads, uh, you know, by even traveling by train or uh, by plane. And uh, region wide, we're going to have all sorts of issues given the wind and the rain. Uh, the front the cold front eventually moves through on Friday evening behind it a rapid drop in temperature. If there's enough precip behind this as the colder air arrives, we could see a brief transition from rain over to snow. But the bigger story may be on untreated surfaces as temperatures go very quickly in the downward direction for what we would call a flash freeze. So we've got a lot to watch and monitor over the coming days. Also with that southerly wind direction come Friday morning, uh, piling water into the sound with the upcoming high tide cycle with a new moon on the 23rd. Uh, Friday morning again, we could have some issues for coastal flooding. Otherwise, the upcoming holiday weekend looks to dry out and feature sunshine, but by then Arctic air is going to be arriving. So more on that in just a moment. In summary, for our alert for Friday, two to three inches of rain, perhaps even some locally higher amounts if we're able to get some thunderstorms going on Friday. Uh, winds could gust uh, over 50 miles an hour out of the south, leading to those possible power outages. And then the coastal flooding is an issue. And then again, we've got that potential for a flash freeze Friday night as temperatures rapidly plummet. Uh, so right now here in the 11 o'clock hour on this Monday night, we've got 28 in uh, Salisbury, 32 right at freezing Willimantic 34 Meriden and Hartford. We've got mid 30s along the 95 quarter but that west northwesterly breeze that's up at around 5 to 15 miles an hour, making it feel more like the 20s all across Connecticut. So uh, as we look live from Waterbury, we've got 31 in the Brass City and looking live as well from southeast Connecticut, our view from New London, we've got 35 degrees. So the wind won't go entirely calm, but our clouds have been clearing out and we do expect temperatures to drop into at least the mid 20s inland upper 20s along the shoreline to start the day tomorrow. So again, looking at the big picture, high pressure briefly builds in for tomorrow, also Wednesday. So we've got several days before the storm is going to be arriving uh, as Thursday night progresses into Friday. So we've got this one cold front moving to the upper Midwest. That's not the system. It's actually coming in the energy off the uh, Pacific Northwest that will be making its way across the country. Uh, meanwhile, behind that front that I just showed you, cold air is beginning to push southward across the U.S. In the Dakotas right now, we've got temperatures below zero. So initially, that cold air sinks southward, and then eventually, later this week, behind that cold front, it pivots in our direction. So temperatures by Saturday only reach, say, the 20s with wind chill values in the teens and even single digits. So for tonight into tomorrow, we'll see a mainly clear sky. Tomorrow we'll see a lot of sunshine, a lot more than we did today. Uh, and that will be the case in the morning right on through the afternoon with temperatures topping out in the mid and upper 30s inland, low 40s along the 95 corridor. Then for Wednesday, basically more of the same as we welcome in the winter season, upper 30s. The solstice is at 447. Thursday clouds increase. It's not until after after the evening commute, the precip begins really ramping up Thursday night into Friday. Again, temps on Friday could reach 55 to 60. And then by Saturday, high temperatures only in the 20s. That wind makes it feel dramatically colder. Upper 20s near 30 as well for Christmas Day Sunday. All right, Mark.